Not a sale. Did you hear that? It makes that noise when um, there's an XXL scrunchie sale. Nicole Epinosa. You bought five things. Can't wait to package it later. So if you're curious about what marketing and social media that I use, you want more or new ways to get more eyes onto your business, whether that be to just connect with more people, to get more sales, to get more customers, just to grow in general. And this video with my social media tips is for you. I just knock an earring off my ear? Yes. Zigwig said, I was wondering, how did you expand and grow? What platforms did you use? If you don't mind me asking, I have a small business and really want to grow. So if you're curious about that, keep watching. This video is totally for you. I'm really hot though, so I'm gonna take off my flannel. My flannel. I always need to be doing something, so I brought a bin of scrunchies upstairs into my room so I can scrunchy and talk at the same time. So in case some of you guys are wondering, this tool that I use to thread the needle through the scrunchie is called a bodkin. And then my elastic is a half inch polyester elastic. I know I get that question a lot. And these are all the scrunchies I've sewn and they look like this because I gotta go like this and put the elastic through. So that's what I'm gonna be doing through this video. Hope you don't mind. Oh, where's my scissors? Yes. I got notes for you guys. I'm prepared. I want to help you with your social media, with your launch, with your small business. And I'm going to explain every channel that I use, what I post on each channel, behind the scenes apps I use to schedule and how often I post. Okay, the first very important point that I want to get across is be yourself. I believe if you be yourself, then you'll be way more successful because there literally is no other you. And what makes your business so special is being you. What makes my business so special, and I can like confidently say that, is that I'm all me in everything, in every aspect, in the little details, the color choices, everything is like all what XXL is. So XXL is me. So yeah, just be yourself. Do things that you like. You're gonna kill it, okay? You got this. Okay, so when I first launched my business, I already had two wholesale orders which means local businesses wanted to sell my products, XXL scrunchies, in their shop. So that was a major, major key point to my business growing so fast, so quickly. I was already, like think of those businesses and all their clients. I was already exposed to all of them before I even launched publicly on social media. And how I got those clients, the first one was my cousin. She owns a hair salon and she's the one who convinced me to make XXL scrunchies in the first place when I gifted her the first one for Christmas. So I already had so many clients client exposure from her. And then the second wholesale client was a previous mural client. I drew this mural in their shop. And when I was making XXL scrunchies, I just texted them, showed them a photo and was like, hey, do you wanna sell these? <laughs> do you wanna buy these? And they bought 30 right away. So creating your own opportunities. They're not just gonna knock on your door right away and be like, can I buy your products? Cause they don't know about you. So you gotta make these opportunities Put yourself out there and don't be afraid. For me, that's how it all launched. And then two weeks later, I launched publicly and I just created my account XXL Scrunchie for Instagram. I created my account XXL Scrunchie for Facebook and I made a Twitter too. I don't really post that much on Twitter. When you're first making your account, I would recommend to make all the accounts the same. So search up the brand name you want. For example, XXL.Scrunchie. I searched that on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter to make sure it wasn't taken yet because I wanted the usernames to be cohesive. And then I have a personal Instagram too, Tina underscore NGU. You know, so I've had that account for a long time and I, and I also had my account graphic.tina. A bit weird to just be promoting yourself, but if you don't do that, you're missing out. By doing that, I connected with so many people, so many people, friends, even if they're not interested in your product. Oh, I have to re this. Even if they're not interested in your product, someone they know might be, and they might share it with that person. Even if it's not instant, you're still 
exposing yourself to this already technically free marketing channel just through your network of people that you know because one person can literally make the difference one person and then that person tells another person that person tells another person it's just like word of mouth it's just like this huge domino effect i encourage everyone to just promote themselves on their own channels just to reach at least one person also we're just talking about social media here. I had a website already created. I just created the website super quick on my graphic tina.ca website, which is where my murals are posted after two weeks of launch. Lauren, who's on the XXL team, she makes XXL scrunchies with me, with her mom. And she runs Clo Design Studio. She created the website for me in January, like last year. And now it looks like this. So thanks, Lauren. I love my website couldn't have created that without you so yeah you should have a website to lead your customers somewhere i know a lot of you ask about should i have an etsy or a website i i didn't want to make an etsy because etsy i think takes some of your sales and you can't create custom like you can't make a beautiful site showing who you really are with an etsy like there are successful etsy's but i knew that wasn't the path for me so i use shopify for my website and for the posting of content, like how much content I post for Instagram and Facebook. On Instagram, I post every single day. I post every single day at 7 a.m. And I use this scheduling app called Creator Studio for Facebook. So that also schedules my posts to Facebook and to Instagram. Now I post a reel every single day as well. I highly recommend doing that because reels reach so many people. I guess we can talk about Facebook ads because I had this as a question. Facebook ads last year in 2020, I spent about $9,000 on Facebook ads and they did work at the beginning. I was just spending like $10 a day only to my hometown Belleville and targeting Thunder Bay as well because I wanted people to know about me more there and I wanted my money's worth to be focused in those areas and I did get sales from there because customers did say oh I saw you on the Facebook ad and that's how I found you so back then I would recommend to do a couple ads but now I, I haven't done ads since launching TikTok I'll talk about TikTok in a bit. Next up for advertising, I actually reached out to Global News and I got featured in their article, I think it was last July, last Canada Day. And I got featured in an article for small businesses to support during a pandemic. And I only reached out to this reporter, Katie Scott from Twitter because a customer actually sent me this tweet and they're like, this reporter is looking for small businesses and I think yours would be great. And I was like, oh my God, so nice of you. So I emailed her and asked her if she would like to feature me. I just told her a little bit about myself and then I sent that customer that referred me a free scrunchie because we actually got featured and I got so many customers that day on Canada Day from that news article so that was amazing that was like a big stepping stone for my small business and then I got exposed to making a Pinterest account and I was like why would I do that I just pin things and I just pin pretty things check out our Pinterest analytics we have almost a thousand followers now We've had so many clicks to our website from Pinterest. And on Pinterest, you can link your website and claim your domain. So all of my, hiccup, all of my products on my Pinterest account are on Pinterest and it gets linked directly. Like I'll show you what it looks like behind the scenes. Like look at all those views, look at all those clicks, all from Pinterest. So every day I also go onto my Instagram and I pin the post that I just posted and then with time that will grow and like people will see it and we've made a few sales from people finding us on Pinterest. So make a Pinterest business account now. It's free, it's so easy, like so easy and it's fun. And like, why not have another channel? What was I saying? So Tori's our Pinterest manager and she schedules pins for us like two weeks in advance. So like one pin gets posted each day and then you just post relevant hashtags. Like we use hashtag scrunchy has hashtag xxl scrunchie hashtag hairstyles whatever is relevant to that product photo that she's posting we use hashtags keywords so then other people can find it when they're searching things on pinterest the best thing to ever happen to my small business TikTok. oh my foot is asleep it hurts so bad so erica confidence sex coach i'll put her at here she posted on her story not even directed towards me just directed towards her followers join TikTok. why not create another social media channel where more people can connect with you i already joined TikTok for two weeks and i've already grown to 10k followers and i've already had thousands of views on my videos just from TikTok. It's free, it's fun, yeah, it's more work, yeah, it's another thing to do, 
but why not connect with more people? Why not get more eyes on growing your business or growing your channel or connecting with others? Why not? So she posted that for like a couple days and then I was like, oh, fine, I'll do it. I was already sewing scrunchies all day. I really, really didn't want to join TikTok. I was so confused at it and I was like, I'm old. Like guys, I'm 27 and I felt old and I was like, it's just TikTok's just dances, but it's not. There's a whole small business community on there and let me explain. Ow, my foot is asleep. It's getting really dark out too. Thank you, Erica. I I love you so much. Like, I don't even, I haven't even met you, but I feel like we've just been, we've always been friends. So thank you so much. Changed my life. So I joined TikTok. I was really confused at it. It took me a while to find my like TikTok groove, guys. It took me a while. So I joined it in, I think, July or June made a couple videos and was like, oh, no one's gonna see this. I'm getting like one view. I quit for like three months, I think. Ow, my foot's really asleep. Rejoined TikTok because Ribbon, a girl from my hometown, posted this video. Let's watch it, let's watch it. So, my friend has one of these. They're adorable. I want one. I cannot afford one. They are expensive and that's okay because they're cute and they're, you know, good quality, very nice quality. But I thought, my cocky little self, I've got a sewing machine, I can make one of those any day. I can make one on the, with my bare hands. With my bare hands. I have fabric, I have a sewing machine. I do not have a ruler. There are no rulers in my home. So I used a book and I guesstimated and I was like, this looks amazing, this is amazing. Oh my God, it's gonna be giant. It's gonna be better than this. It's gonna be better. This is mine. To look like this, and this is mine. This is mine. I'm starting an Etsy. I don't care who you are. I'm starting. Oh my god, hello. Wait, no, no. <laughs> Love this video. I haven't watched it in so long. If the video was going viral, I was getting hundreds of visitors on my site, and I didn't even know what was happening. My friend Bronte messaged me and was like, Oh my god, she made this video about you. So then instantly I messaged her, Ribbon, and was like, oh my god, thank you for that video. Can I send you some scrunchies? She lives in the same town as me. What are the odds? She lives literally like about 10 minutes from me. Let's watch it together. So this happened. And then, and then this, this all happened. And then this happened. Tina is the owner of this small business in my hometown. And she freaking sent me all this stuff. Look, look. Welcome Robin to the girl gang. I'm a part of a girl gang for God's sakes. It hasn't even been 24 hours since I made my TikTok and one of her friends saw it and sent it to her. So she sent me a gift card and was like, pick whatever you want. You go crazy, I'll send it over. And I received it today because we live in the same town. I've never been so happy in my life. I picked up two, two. She sent me a third. And a t-shirt. Look at the artwork on that. Who can do that? It looked good. Okay, so how crazy was that? I like sold out that day pretty much. The orders went insane. I remember I kept going on my Shopify and there's like always a hundred visitors online from all over the world. I like we were just selling a few here and there to the US and to Europe and now we're like fully international. We get sales all over the world thanks to that TikTok really skyrocketing. If this doesn't convince you to make a TikTok right now for your small business, for your brand, for whatever you're doing to grow, make a TikTok. Also, thank you again Ribbon for making that video. I know you didn't do it on purpose to like promote the brand, but like it really it seriously changed my life so thank you so much and also i have a ribbon xxl scrunchie named after her so for tiktok videos i just film things on my phone before i had an iphone 8 now i have iphone 11 and i edit them using this app called inshot i'll post it here sometimes i use after effects sometimes i use adobe rush but mostly i just use inshot if they're for tiktok videos and for content i literally just post things i do like i'll post a time-lapse video of like me making scrunchies, time-lapse video of me sewing, packaging orders. I did watch a lot of other TikToks to get inspo like when I first started, but that just made me feel so overwhelmed. Now I have like over 137 drafts of posts because I just film so many things that I do that I have so much content to put out there. So I hope that gives you some ideas. Just 
post you, don't be scared to show you or your face. I remember before I was so scared to show my face without makeup, but TikTok, I feel like, and you guys too, really like just the authenticity and just being genuine and just being you. Like, don't be scared to show you in these videos. Also for TikTok, going on live is pretty fun. At first when I went on TikTok live, there'd be like five people watching. Now, sometimes there's like 2,000 people watching, which is crazy. So again, baby steps, don't compare yourself because you'll get there. Just the number one tip through all this, sorry Fuzz, through all this social media is be consistent. On Instagram, we post every single day. Facebook, every single day. Pinterest, we have a pin every single day. TikTok, I post a TikTok every day around the same time. With TikTok, at first, when I really wanted to grow, I was creeping other creators for their tips. And I was posting twice a day, and that grew me from like 10,000 to 50,000 followers. Use, I only use five hashtags. Before I was using like 10 or 20 to fill the whole caption. Only use like five, be well with the algorithm. Like algorithm doesn't like when there's too many things in your caption with hashtags. TikTok honestly is just like kind of like a lucky draw sometimes. Some video, not every video is gonna be viral even though you want them to be. I don't use the FYP hashtag anymore. Play around with it and you'll get it, but just try to use five. Post twice a day if you really wanna grow. Cause if you're posting twice a day, you're increasing your chances of your videos being seen more, you know? The more you post, the more consistent you are, the more chances you're gonna create for yourself. Engaging, engaging in every single comment. If you creep our social media, I reply to every single comment but I try my best to respond to every single comment because that increases your channel or social media getting seen too because you're engaging back and that also brings back the commenter that you reply to back to your channel to be seen again. So it just, you know, it just increases everything and those people are taking time to comment on your thing. So you should respond to them because yeah, it's nice. For TikTok lives, I at first I was going on live like twice a day, um, but I, I've seen other people post you should go on live at least 20 minutes a day and it doesn't have to be anything super exciting. Like sometimes I'm just on live doing this. I don't go on live doing packaging anymore because it's just too tight. YouTube. YouTube, I never thought YouTube would be, check this out, YouTube. Half my visitors to my site now are from YouTube. How crazy is that? I only made YouTube. People could see my studio transformation. And check out this video. It has gotten me so many new customers and new eyes and new XXL fan members. I'm so grateful. Like, I never thought YouTube was for a small business. I thought YouTube was for like YouTubers that vlog every day and do their thing. I never thought it would help my small business at all. I can confidently say it's like thanks to Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube all together it's increased my exposure so much. So if you're a small business, you're thinking about making a YouTube, you should do it. And before I started YouTube, I thought it was super intimidating. I watched like at least 30 vlogs of people just doing their thing just to get inspiration. I was like, oh, okay, so this is what a YouTube layout video is like. I took so many notes. I have like a book full, like six or nine pages of notes of what I wanted to make my channel, the order I would want to make my videos. Cause the first video I wanted to make was just a studio tour. It's so hard to film all of that in a one minute TikTok or in a, in a 30 second reel. It'd be so hard to show you guys all the things I wanted to show. So that's why I made a YouTube. And then I studied for like at least two weeks by watching other content creators give their tips. Okay, so Jessica Stansberry, I watched like all of her videos. She has amazing tips on how to grow your YouTube channel. Hey guys, I got kind of cold, so I put back on my flannel shirt. Okay, so the other content creator I recommend watching literally all her videos and took into account all her tips for growing a YouTube channel, Katherine Manning. Thank you so much to these two creators. You guys seriously helped me be really confident in creating my YouTube channel. And also my camera just died, so I gotta wrap this up. I can't believe I talked the whole amount of a battery dying. Okay, so let's talk about marketing and like kind of the strategies because now you know all the social media channels that I have and how I implement on them and post on them and like the tips. So when I also first started, 
to gain a following and to get my name out there, I collaborated with Vitality Beauty & Co. and Beauty in the Bay Creations to do a group giveaway. So giveaways are amazing. You get to give your product away to someone, which makes them really happy. And then you also get all these new customers who want to win your product. So giveaways, highly recommend. Go do one right now. Even if it's just on your own, share it. It'll get some type of traction going. The best way is to collaborate with others. Their followers have to follow you and they have to like the post and they have to share it to their story. That gets so much traction going and just sharing. Other people will see that and be like, oh, I want that. And then they'll click and then they'll follow you and then they'll learn more about you. So, and I've actually had other businesses approach me to promote their brands on my channel and I only do what's authentic to me and what I like. So I've said no to a lot just because it doesn't align with what I'm doing. But there is one brand that I want to mention, NH Designs Handmade. Her name's Nicole Hoover. Super cute handmade bracelets, cute beaded bracelets. I actually really love beaded bracelets. Look at that. She makes these and they go so cute with your scrunchie. This is a disclaimer that they won't guarantee this won't guarantee you your success, but but if you're consistent, then you increase your chance of success and you decrease your chance of failure. So do not, don't give up. Believe in yourself, you can do this. You got this, okay? If I can do this, you guys can do this. And then when you're famous one day, don't forget about me. But I'm gonna read a couple answers from my Instagram because I posted, All right, so what videos perform best on TikTok? I think the best videos are ones about me and my family and just sharing genuinely what we do every day and really close up ASMR like noise videos are really fun and packaging videos are fun too. But the more you post, like the more that you'll be aware of what your following likes and you'll figure out more what you like to do too. So just post, just post, just do it to start. And then from there, you'll be able to go back and analyze and look at what does best. How did you get your first thousand followers? I shared it to my personal account and my other mural account. And then I had the collaborative giveaway with Vitality Beauty & Co. and Bay, Beauty in the Bay creation. So our collaboration giveaway, I think that made me hit my first thousand followers. And then with YouTube, I gained the first thousand after I posted that first sewing studio tour. How long do you spend sewing every day? I sew this morning, I sewed for three hours, but usually I sew for six to eight hours, not all at once. People keep asking how to come up with these ideas, but just pay attention if you're a scrunchy business, you're sewing, you could do slow-mos, you could do time lapses, you could look on other accounts for inspo for what to record, but just film what you do every day. And then how much did you invest into XXL and were you nervous about it? So a lot of people are asking like, how did you afford to start your business? But when I first started paying for the business license was like, I think $50. My mom had a sewing machine, so that was free. The first fabrics I bought were $50. So that's all I invested at first because social media and promoting and all of that is pretty much free if you think about it because I already had a phone and I already had a computer and I already had a laptop and I already had a camera and I already had a running website but yeah that's basically the new money I invested was about $50 and I guess with packaging and everything another hundred dollars but yeah I was super nervous about it starting anything new is really nerve-wracking definitely worth it if you're passionate about it and like I didn't need to spend all that money but I that's the amount I budgeted at first and yeah it worked out for me at least I think a lot of people ask how do we get our follower amount so quickly it did take over a year on Instagram to grow to that and then for YouTube, it just grew so quick because one of my videos have been just popping up on the YouTube recommendation page. But to get a following so quick, you just need, I've, this is what I've been doing. Our TikTok posting every day on Instagram, even our Facebook, and then YouTube, I try to post once a week. And yeah, just all of those things combined together, even reels. And Instagram reels has really brought up our following like crazy. So post a reel every day too. I think that's all the questions I have. Thank you if you watched this whole thing. And if you have more questions for me, like specific questions about what I explained, I'll be happy to keep creating more videos to share more tips because, because I truly, truly want the best for all of you. All of you that have supported me 
like I cannot thank you enough. I would not be here without all of your support and that is just such an incredible thing. Me and my whole family are so grateful for the XXL fam. And I want you all to succeed too. So any tips I can give over YouTube, over our Instagram stories, like I'll try my best. So yeah, leave me a comment if you're curious about anything else, how else I can help you. I often get asked this question like, oh, I still have some scrunchies to me. Like, why do you share so much? I really, but people do like that I share so much. And sometimes people are like, oh, why do you do that? Why do you give so much away? And I'm like, well, it's not a competition. I'm not really, com I don't think I'm competing with anyone. I don't have that competitive mindset because what a stressful way to live. And I don't want to live my life like that. I am running this small business because I really love doing it. And it's really fun. And there is so much room in this world for all of us. This world is huge. This planet is massive. Thanks for watching XXL fam. Have an amazing week. All these scrunchies I made while talking to you guys. Thank you for accompanying me. I went by so fast.